So, the other day I thought I'd work on a fun little side project and tried to re-implement in the Godot game engine one of the most iconic video game mechanic ever, Portals Portals. You probably know of Portal, this amazing puzzle game where you use your trusty portal gun to shoot blue and orange portals on the walls and solve various test chambers by throwing you or other stuff through them. Now, at first, this looked like a simple enough system. To be honest, my initial challenge was to do this in less than 4 hours. Wait, what? And I actually sort of did, except that I then realized it wasn't truly finished. Oh, and by the way, I'll actually be sharing this full Godot project on my Patreon as this video is coming out. So if you want to play around with this Portals project, be sure to check it out over here and get all the coding assets. In this video, I want to take you through what I did, how I created this system, and how I sort of realized that I could bring it further and sort of fix some other portal tutorials on the net, and yes, even brackets. The first thing I did was re-import a FPS controller script from another Godot project, and I prepared a basic test room to walk and look around. By using some recasts, I could easily instantiate planes on the walls just by looking at them and clicking left or right, and then with some extra physics layers magic, I differentiated between black and white walls to recreate Portal's limitation. Then I spent some time upgrading my Portal prefab, and in particular I gave it a shader with a color, a glowy border, and in the middle, either a simple black placeholder effect or a dynamic texture. The idea was that I'd use cameras on each of my portals to film the scene from its linked equivalent and essentially retransmit this other view via this texture. But of course, at that point, even though the portal shader looks pretty cool, the cameras were not working as expected at all, and it was pretty weird. So it was finally time to work on the main thing, portal transformations. First for the cameras, and second for the player. So I brought the net for some other videos and tutorials, trying to wrap my head around all the required transformations, and in particular I found this really cool github by Donitso, and of course Bracky's Smooth Portals Unity tutorial. Obviously it wasn't good to code, but it was still a nice way to see if I was heading in the right direction, and Donitso's code was definitely a great way to easily have the cameras move the right way. So finally, after 3 hours and 45 minutes of intense development, I had this. Yep, I was really happy, and I felt pretty confident that I'd actually succeeded, albeit with some help from fellow creators. I could even put portals up and use them to get on higher platforms. So yeah, it all looks really neat, and I thought I could start writing this devlog, until I tried that. If you're not too familiar with Portal, it's not supposed to happen like that. Obviously. What I was trying to do here is a very common technique in the game where you jump into a portal beneath you to accumulate speed thanks to gravity, and you basically get shot at high speed from the other portal, which can allow you to cross large gaps. That's extremely cool, and it relies on a pretty basic concept. Traveling through a portal actually conserves your current velocity and simply redirects it the right way. Note that this can lead to a lot of really interesting questions, and that's definitely a really cool physics idea to wrap your head around. Except that in my own rendition of portals, things were just going crazy. So at first I thought I'd done some mistake. I patiently downloaded Brecky's portal demo project, opened it, and tried the basic setup. Nothing special, it worked just as expected. But now, what if we try to put the second portal, the exit one, like this? Well, then things seem to get just as bizarre as in my own version. It was at that moment that I realized two things. One, I was far from finished, and there was no way I could have ever made my 4 hours time constraint. And two, in fact, virtually all the tutorials I looked at that claimed to recreate this portal mechanic used simple vertical portals, all oriented kind of the same, wherein shot is just rotated around the global vertical axis. But none of those videos really talks about more complex scenarios, with weirdly rotated portals, or even worse, vertical to horizontal velocity redirection. After spending a few extra hours pulling my hair trying to find a conversion matrix that could instantly translate and rotate my character the right way, I scratched that first approach and stopped back at the beginning. 
In a nutshell, the difficulty here comes from the fact that, like many FPS controllers, mine relies on a two-level rotation system. I've got a first node, the head, that handles the horizontal rotation, and then my camera node nested inside that takes care of the vertical rotation. So as long as up remains up, that works okay. But if we suddenly point our head node towards the out forward direction of a portal, then when you have portals that aren't in the same plane, this doesn't make much sense anymore. The trick was actually to re-decompose this orientation as a horizontal and a vertical rotation, and reapply those separated orientations on my head node and my camera node. Now, my system is by no means perfect, and there are still some weird rotations or collisions from time to time. I think some of those issues also come from how I designed my level, and what kind of colliders or wall meshes I used. But anyway, thanks to those operations, my player can at least now continue to move normally after passing through a portal, and I can actually cross a big gap by first jumping into a portal below me. So to wrap things up, I made a more complex room to really stress test this, and I also added a few typical portal assets and basic patterns to activate panels and get an actual puzzle. So in the end, I don't have a perfect system, but it's still pretty nice, and I almost have the right angles and velocities, which means I can sort of mimic Portal's reasoning. All in all, this was a really interesting couple of days. I'd been dreaming of remaking my own Portal system for a while, and I'm pretty happy with the result, though there's still room for improvement and the visuals are clearly under the real game. But what do you think? Are these projects and devlog interesting? Would you enjoy me making more of that kind of content? Again, if you're curious, remember that you can get these four projects on my Patreon, along with a lot more of exclusive content. So yeah, feel free to tell me in the comments down below if you want to see other videos like this one, and like, share and subscribe to see more game creation content. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and take care!